Hey everyone, uh, Tucker and I are going to show you today how we did the six point roll cage in the Victress. This is a completely removable roll cage. We'll start in the back. We've got the main hoop with the kickers. It's all done in one piece. Right now it's welded, uh, just tack welded together. Uh, we'll take it out and um, weld it completely. I'm going to take the body off. Right here, the attachment brackets. I got these from Barnes. These are uh, the uh, quarter inch plate, four bolt. I've got double plates here. The bottom plate is welded to the frame, and the top plate is welded to the tube so that I can uh, unbolt them. And then same thing in the rear, this is just the two hole bracket. So again, bottom plate, you can see tack welded in, top plate tack welded to the, to the tube. So that'll come out in one piece. And the same uh, arrangement on the other side, you can see I'm making filler pieces that are removable. Trim out the interior. You've got these front tubes. They have an a interlocking cage bracket that go down to the A-pillar in the front. These are the brackets here. You can see this is the interlocking type so that even if you take the bolts out, they have, they have some strength to them. Um, these will have a bolt in from either side. So you have to make sure you have clearance when you put it in. These fittings are solid. These are two inch machine steel and they stick into the tube know about that much so what I've done is I would drill out a, a hole in the uh, tube and then dimple it into the fitting and plug weld that to hold that in place uh, while I was getting the uh, getting the tubing all set up properly and that makes sure you have to make sure that you're indexing that that coupling properly to uh, to make you can make sure you can take the tube out when you're done so we come over here to the front, I also have a, a header bar here, same thing, tack welded in with a coupling on each end so the header bar can come right out. There's a slight bend in it, it's tucked up real tight. We come down to the front here, this tube comes down all the way. This is mounted, I've got a 6 inch plate here, uh, 16 gauge per regulation. Uh, there be four mounting bolts here. I only have one of the bolts in right now. This goes right into the Corvette frame uh, body mount. And then the other bolts will go into a bracket, which is a uh, 3 plate bent and gusseted and welded to the frame on the bottom. What I've also done is made use of the roll cage here. Uh, to make the dash bar again removable dash bar same thing with that interlocking tube coupling over to the other side and then I've got the steering column mounts from the Corvette steering column uh, mounted on brackets that I made uh, up underneath there well just welded in now um, this includes these brackets include all of the master cylinder and brake pedal mounts on the Corvette so the uh, Geometry, driving geometry is, is the same, very well done. So that's what it looks like. Um, any questions, go ahead and shoot me a note. Um, I'll put the link in where I got all the brackets, but really good quality stuff. Um, Solve the, the problem that I had here in making a removable roll cage. Thanks for watching.